ओम शांति हेलो एवरीबडी टुडे आई बी टॉकिंग ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ रीबूटिंग इन क्राइसिस अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन कंप्लीटेड रीडिंग 32 बुक्स इन 50 डेज ऑफ कोविड 19 एंड ही शेयर्ड हिज एक्सपीरियंस it has been a lot of coloring lot of flavor lot of taste lot of spicy i will never be the same again and yes these days it can be inconvenient for many of us the pandemic has led to nearly a shutdown of social and economic activity in almost all corners of the world we are all very familiar with the term reboot when it comes to the computers when a program or software is locked up you need to reboot it restart it the covid-19 mission is all about rebooting once reboot done there will be more capability more speed more performance god has a new software new ways new ideas new levels for life and for the world god wants us to be more productive reboot means a new software is come yesterday's software will not work anymore it can't take us to a new future we need a new thinking a new commitment new attitudes new obedience to god's ways the supreme manufacturer god is making improvement in the dynamics of the world in the functioning and operation of the world now it's up to us to download it and free ourselves of the old don't come out of the reboot and go back to the old please my request re-evaluate every area of your life minutely why do i feel exhausted stuck up what holds me back what needs cleaning up don't let addiction or mediocrity set you down god is giving you this rebooting himself it's a blessing in disguise what you think is a setback is setting us up for a change god is forcing us pushing us to change god has some way to prosper us to new levels he is doing something bigger for us don't miss please don't miss the new things that god has in store for us rebooting is a gift to yourself it connects you with your spirit with your wisdom and joy that lives in you it grounds you to your own truth it is a personal anti virus program for you to free you of whatever distracts you or disorients you and keeps you from being your own best self your own highest self so reboot your soul take time to listen to your personal calling to your inner guidance the life that soul holds for us the life that is waiting for us we have to drop our old maps and dictionaries 
and surrender to the fuller dimension of our deeply rooted soul and for that we need to track our ego converse with our pure self complete self higher self within us reparent ourselves and emerge the sleeping giant from within we need to shut down our doors to the outside world so that we can nurture the pure baby within us which is our inner most creative beautiful life force energy full of curiosity will power and tenderness so trust your intuition that is inner intuition number 2 reboot your nature don't go back to unforgiveness not being your best self don't be sarcastic don't be hard to get along with walk away from all your bad habits and attitudes being disrespectful argumentative we have allowed all these viruses to contaminate us come up with more kinder loving ways of living be grateful for what you have today stand in front of the mirror and say to yourself i love you say something lovable about the person you see in the mirror and feel proud about yourself number 3 reboot your body if you have been eating any unhealthy foods it's now time to reboot your diet follow a detox diet to eliminate all toxins from your body refined sugars bread etc need to be completely eliminated number 4 reboot your room take everything out step backwards and visualize what an ideal room would look like and slowly put back all the things books items which will only and only energize you and would make you feel happy allow more open and free spaces inside your room number 5 reboot your friendships and relationships detach from toxic people don't allow their fears their anxieties to invade your life entrust them to the goodness and care of the universe it is a life giving gift to both of you stop clinging to people and you will invite new people into your life there are divine connections god has ordained to come into your life number 5 reboot your conversations instead of old conversations creating hurts and pain to each other make a choice to create a new one which welcomes positive energy choose something to be delighted about and rehearse how will you talk today number 6 reboot your job your occupation the economy embrace the challenge to get to zero emissions 
net zero emissions rebuild industries that serve the economy and the environment rethink local manufacturing and supply chains and with it a more richer and diverse set of jobs and skills for the people ask yourself what job best holds for me that will make the world smile number 7 reboot society take care of the elderly ones the homeless the disabled the migrant communities the covid-19 mission is moving us to rethink how we value care recognizing that at this moment of crisis it is the teachers the nurses the carers the cleaners who are delivering the essential services to whole society together protect the vulnerable and sustain each other ask yourself what act of care and compassion will i participate in today a final word on rebooting my dear friends god is at work now completely god is giving us a new program a fresh vision the power of new creativity god is playing the role of brahma if you have faith and work on rebooting your lives there is a place of victory and abundance god has prepared for you it's god's world so god promises us so friends don't miss this chance don't miss this change don't miss this rebooting om shanti